Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another one season wonder. This time it is Benfica. Now they have been going through a tough, tough period lately uh, and we can certainly take a look at how that they've done this season gone and see if we can do any good as well with them. Um, so what we'll do is, like we did with Lil, we'll run through the team, uh, pick a few players out who I think will be very important to us this season. Uh, we'll, we'll go forward, show you the kind of tactic we're looking at, as well as what players we've brought in, and even one game ready for the start of the season. Uh, and, and obviously what we've got to compete with. Um, so we'll jump straight into the players and see who we've got and if they're any good. So first up, we have got Adele Tarat, uh, an interesting player. He's um, he's varied a lot with his clubs and who he's played for, along with his kind of performances. Uh, you can see that in the championship, especially during his time at QPR, he was very, very good. But he's come on and off the boil quite a lot, and he's been all over the place. Been at Benfica a while now, but has been loaned out to Genoa for a couple of seasons. Uh, played a lot last season for them but not quite as much this season. I think if we can get the best out of Adel Tarat, I think he could actually be a very good player for us. Um, he's got some great stats in dribbling, first touch, passing and technique, along with vision as well. So if we can just sit him in there, and even if he doesn't move much in that enganch position, we might be able to get something from that. Next up, we do have one of the two centre-halves I think we'll be mainly focusing on, and that's Jan Vertonghen, coming from Tottenham in last season, after last season. He is ageing, he's 33 now, uh, he, but he's got that experience. He's got that ball-playing ability, so we can, we're can. we a team that is good on the ball, from what I've found. Is that they're players that can get the ball, keep it down, and pass it around. Like As we know, he came from Tottenham after a long, long period there, of seven years and he is now at Benfica came here on a free and is certainly certainly a decent player to have not the quickest but I still think he can certainly do do some bits for us and alongside him another 32 year old this time uh Nicholas Otamendi another player brought from the Premier League to Benfica uh again a very very good player uh nothing to be shouting at he was in he was part of the Ruben Diaz deal I believe really but Supposedly paid 13.75 million for him. Not a bad signing, I'd say. Again, uh, very, very well rated in, in kind of marking, tackling, heading, uh, work rate and teamwork as well is very, very good. Uh, and look, those aggressions, bravery, anticipation. It, it, his age works on his side on that front as he's got the ability to um, read the game quite well. Uh, but that's not all we've got. We've also got Alex Grimaldo from La Masia, the Barcelona Youth Academy. Um, he's been very, very good uh, for a long time on Football Manager and even on FIFA if you play that dreadful game. Um, <laughs> but 24 years old, so still very young uh, and is obviously already wanted by Sevilla, who's a very, very good side uh, in, in performing in Europa League, that sort of thing. Uh, but you can see very good going forward. Dribbling first touch is very good. Decent crossing. He's got a bit of pace about him as well. So not bad on that left hand side. Can play almost anywhere up that left hand side as well. And finally, we have two Germans. We've got Luca Waldschmidt, who um, has only recently signed, I say recently, last season signed for them. Uh, 13.75 million as well from Freiburg. Uh, he's not bad. Um, he's quite well-rounded, but nothing stands out as his best abilities. Um, good, decent finishing, good technique, good passing. So he's maybe that link-up play. He's more of a winger possibly that an inside forward inverted winger role has made three appearances for Germany so that's not bad at all um so he's he's got international experience but we will also show you uh, Julian Wiegel who's also comes into the squad from Borussia Dortmund a very very good player very well rounded passing positioning teamwork uh, work rate's not bad either along with technique and tackling so a player that can play almost anywhere in the middle this time um like Grimaldo can play on the left he can play anywhere in the middle uh, and is a very, very solid player. Um, I'll have to take a look and see what we need to bring in and see if we do bring any players in. Uh, but we will show you the competitions now uh, and how they match up to what they were uh, last season and if we can kind of do any better. All right, so first up, we have got the league. Uh, and I've got this on my other screen here. And we fin Benfica finished third in the table. So they qualified for the Champions League kind of qualifying round. Um but really, you want them to be winning the league, right? Uh, they had a four-season run where they did 
win the league in a row. Then Porto broke that up. Benfica won and then Porto won last year and Sporting won in real life last year. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if we can beat third. I'm, I'm aiming for first. I don't see why not. I don't see why we can't win the league. Um, and it's certainly something that I, I'll be wanting to do. Um, so you can see above me now, that's how the league ended. Uh, it was quite comfortably third, but weren't close at all to top of the table. A good nine points behind them. So it's, it's going to be a tough one uh, to to match or do as badly, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how the game goes. I don't want to big myself up too much. Um, but next up, Champions League. They were in the Champions League, but got knocked out in the first qualify in the qualifying rounds um, to Pauk from Greece, um, two one. So that'll be up as you can see. Uh, yeah, I, I'm aiming to get to the group stage of that because Benfica got knocked out in the first in the round of 32 against Arsenal in the Europa League, which again you can see above me. Um, but we're aiming to do better than that, and they came second to Rangers in the group, so. Yeah, um, and then you've also got the Portuguese Cup and the Portuguese Super Cup. I'm hoping there's a couple of guys who I know are in the comments who are a bit more knowledgeable on the Portuguese League and the competitions, as these aren't the real uh, cups. But I think, correct me if I'm wrong, please, uh, the Portuguese Cup is possibly the Taca de Portugal, I think. Um, well, they got to the final and lost to Braga. So <laughs> that's one thing. Um, and then you've got the Portuguese Super Cup, which was lost to Porto. So, yeah. There's a final that we have to get to in a cup competition. The, I'm, co I'm reasonably confident that we can do better in the Champions League because I think we'll get to the Champions League proper. Uh, and the league as well, I'm... I'm feeling confident about that I think we can certainly do do okay in that um, but I'll show you the tactics uh, when we get to the first game of the season uh, how we've lined up throughout the the pre-season and how that's gone uh, and we'll we'll go from there okay so here we are first game of the season we've gone through pre-season and we have actually played the Champions Cup League par third qualifying round as you could see it didn't go well I thought there was going to be a second leg there wasn't and we had a player sent off um I'm not even going to show you the goal because it was awful. But Fiorentina, we drew with them 1-0. We drew against our B team and our second 11. Uh, drawing against Vigo as well. Lost to Tondelo, who we are in fact playing in the first game of the season, which doesn't seem great. And then Lecce as well. We did in fact beat Gabriel and Eric Garcia, who's one of the signings who actually got two goals in preseason, our top goal scorer. Not great. Um, but yeah, let's show you the transfers we have brought in and sold and all that sort of thing. Um, so sold-wise, not really anyone spectacular. No big names have left us. A uh, few on loans, few young academy players have gone out who weren't ever going to get in the first team. So just got rid of them. Um, but there are two main players that we brought into the club. Eric Garcia on loan from Man City, obviously at the start of this season he was still at Man City before he's moved to Barcelona in real life um we got him on loan looking to leave at the end of the season on a free transfer doesn't bother us at all because we've got him for this season and then we've also brought in another center half of 4.3 million from Malmo and Medovic Med Medzic great center half um definitely our biggest our best center half according to the star ratings um a big guy at the back not bad uh, experience for international stage as well so pretty good now this is the formation we've been going with three at the back uh, Otamendi Vertonghen and Amezovic at the back I can't say his name if you can say his name please correct me Gilberto and Servi right wing back left wing back Sam Harris Gabriel in midfield with Pizzi just behind Seferovic and Walshmit which is the lineup we'll be going for to start with Eric Garcia on the bench along with a few other players um, Junior Weigl Hasn't been amazing in preseason. That's why he's not starting. But he might come on for the likes of Gabriel uh, halfway through. And then the same with Al-Tarat. He can sit in where Pizzi is as well. Um, but there, there you go. That is the lineup we're going for. We are going to jump straight into the first game of the season. Um, well, we're in the Europa League. Well, we're in the qualifying for the Europa League. So I need to make sure I qualify for that. Otherwise, I will have messed things up. I was hoping to get into the Champions League comfortably. 
didn't end up happening. But um, there's our lineup, five at the back. We are attacking Gagan Press sort of style. They've got a hell of a lot of debuts for players. We had quite a few, to be fair, um, considering, obviously, the real-life transfers that were made at the beginning of the season. Tondela are a affiliate club to Benfica, so um, they are connected to us in some way, some form. Um, but yeah, there you go then. So let's get the game started and fingers crossed get the win. So we have had injuries and that's why Servi's playing at full back. Um, we have trained him to kind of drop slightly deeper in that role to maybe attack later on. Um, but we can see that we're on the defensive from a throw-in. He's run all the way into the box. Odysseys does well to catch that and keep hold of it. But Val Schmidt and Seferovic up front have not done anything anything i think the control possession style can work for us but look it's just nothing's happening there um let's bring on everton he can play up top in that advanced forward role just change things up samaras will come off and we'll bring on Vigel there uh, and we'll swap those around as well get a bit more experience than Vigel in the midfield and hopefully he can make something happen uh especially in the second half we need to get a win we've gone more attacking we're on the front foot let's let's go at the at Tondela and hopefully get something from this because it's not looking good at the moment it's coming to the end of the game nothing has happened all game we've been very very poor there it is <laughs> that is one of the quickest games we had one highlight I think and that was theirs at the end of the first half there you have it it was a nil nil draw I'm sorry you had to see that but there you go. Um, I'm going to have to continue to make changes and see what we can do to make things happen. Um, we'll let Ramos go out on loan. Why not? He's not going to be playing for us. Uh, but there you have it. So we drew our first game, lo losing in the Champions League, uh, qualifying. Let's see how things go. I'll see you in a bit later on in the season. Uh, and as, as we have done previously with Lille, We'll end the season on Friday and see how we've done in comparison to real life. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you next time.